ओके ना लेट्स सी थर्ड थर्ड ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन इन्वॉल्विंग जी आई एफ एंड फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट वेयर यू हैव टू ड्रॉ दी ग्राफ ऑफ फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट ऑफ एफ ओके द फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट सो कंप्लीट अंडर फ्रैक्शन सो इवन बिफोर गोइंग फॉरवर्ड वॉट आई कैन अंडर एस्टिमेट आउट ऑफ दिस इज अंडर दिस प्रॉपर्टी आई कैन ईजिली से दैट वाई विल ऑलवेज लाइ बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन बिकॉज द राइट हैंड साइड इज अ प्योर फ्रैक्शनल राइट सो इफ यू डू समथिंग लाइक दिस डजेंट मैटर वॉट दी एफ इज बट सिंस इट इज फ्रैक्शनल फ्रैक्शनल विल ऑलवेज रिटर्न यू दिस सपोज दिस वैल्यू सो द एंटायर ग्राफ हैज टू बी बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन दिस इज फॉर श्योर लेट्स सी हाउ यू ड्रॉ दिस क्विकली वाई इक्वल टू एफ एक्स ड्रॉ हॉरिजोंटल लाइन्स एज वाई इक्वल टू के लाइन्स आर दी हॉरिजोंटल लाइन्स एंड देन between two horizontal lines the graph has to be shifted to what to the y interval 0 to 1 okay so uh, uh, let's see how okay just see to it so it's very simple stuff again and it's really very interesting property so let's say oh sorry we wanted the uh, fraction to be the on the complete so if i start drawing this so let's say this is the graph of y to e raised to power x okay we know this uh this is let's say supposedly 1 supposedly this is 2 uh this value is 3 and so on okay and this is 0 at 0 we know the value is 1 so now what you have to draw, do is you have to draw so now you have to draw what horizontal line so this is the first horizontal line y equal to 0 that is already drawn then the next horizontal line will come out to be y equal to one line this is y equal to one line right then what will happen is let's see okay so you don't have to actually figure out too many things here let's see how we figure out things at one at a time so if you notice this 1 2 3 were not required so we can actually remove this let's actually remove this it is not required at all since they were not required i have removed them all right so what is required is just horizontal lines at this point of time so the next horizontal line will be y equal to 2 line okay this line y equal to 2 then similarly the next horizontal line would be something which we can draw like this let's say this is y equal to 3 line now what does the actually solution says it says shift the graph between two vertical lines so where does those two vertical lines are coming from i'll ex explain it to you so see if you notice your graph between 0 and 1 is like this this is already in the 0 to 1 region right so there is nothing to do this is completely fine this graph is completely fine nothing nothing to do now coming here so let's draw this is the point of intersection with this graph let's draw vertical lines vertical lines right so this entire graph between this particular point a and this particular point b you just have to put this graph where let me just again take it very lightly just shift it between 0 and 1 onto this particular region this is the area where this graph will come to so how the graph will look like let's try and understand now so this will be a point will become this is 1 this become 0 right this b was 2 so this will actually go to 1 and here it will be an open circle because the graph cannot take value 1 fractional parts cannot take value 1 so here also it will be like this so if i have to draw the graph on the left hand side this is like this then this again talking about this particular region this will also be shifted downwards if you want to shift this downward then the graph again will look like something like this where again this becomes so if you notice the if i have to remove all the clutter the final answer will be something like this let's remove the clutter right this is how you can remove this part this is how the graph will look like okay this is the final graph so everything that is there has to be reduced to between 0 and 1 why because very simple we know that the entire graph value should fall under this particular range okay 
we can also take another example if you want so understand y is equal to let's say you want to draw fractional part of sin x interesting case um, let's say this is the graph of uh, sin x and let's say we draw it till 3 pi right 3 pi 2 pi pi 0 we know that the entire graph of sin already lies between minus 1 to 1 right so there is only three horizontal lines that you can draw the horizontal lines will be y equal to minus 1 y equal to 0 and y equal to 1 so these will be the three horizontal lines now let's see what is happening let's see very interesting this is also a very interesting graph if you notice between 0 to this point is nothing but pi by 2 at pi by 2 what is the value at pi by 2 the value of sine is 1 but when you input 1 in this what will be the fractional part answer what is the fraction part of 1 yes so the answer should come like this very very interesting right so if i have to start plotting the plot would be it will go like this no problems then there will be an open circle here then it will come down as usual right let me draw another graph so that you don't have to hinder along with it. So we'll start from 0. We go till pi by 2. But pi by 2 we cannot have this particular value 1 because at 1 the answer will be 0. Right. So all the graphs of the part uh, GIF cannot touch y equal to 1 line. Right. Then it will come down to this particular value. 0 could be there. But now what happens with this particular region that is between pi and 2 pi so it is not lying between 0 and 1 you just have to shift this graph to this region that is the upper region that is between 0 and 1 so if you shift this graph let's see what interesting will happen the open circle so this particular point let's say a will look like this a will come out here but you will have open circle here because it is y equal to one line and you cannot have value 1 and then it will be like this right minus 1 the answer is 0 no problem you can take this forward something like this again so this 2 pi will be here somewhere here not on the above line because y equal to 1 cannot be touched is that clear to you then again the graph continues like this again where there this will be a open circle right so this is the graph of y equal to fractional part sin x you just have to shift the entire graph in the region 0 and 1.